Good morning, guys. Uh, here we are. Uh, it's a Saturday, and I'm back at the Evesham. I'm a glutton for punishment, but, you know, I don't like to uh, give in. I keep trying, keep trying. Uh, thanks for your comments uh, about uh, my drawing, it's, which is absolutely rubbish at the moment. But like all things, things do come good eventually. So we'll have to see today, won't we? Now, you might think I'm all dressed up here for the summer, but uh, to be honest, I've just come from a low depression area in Cardiff where it's absolutely blowing a gale, raining, and I come through up to the Midlands and it's, uh, well, it's dry. <laughs> it's not raining. There's a little bit of wind. Nothing compared with back in South Wales. So there, it take me an hour and a half to get here. So anyway, I've arrived. I'm going to have a cup of coffee now and wait for the draw at about nine o'clock. Um, thankfully, all the gypsies are gone, uh, which were parked in the, uh, the, the the car park by the town centre. So I think um, the thirties, uh, the twenties and thirties will be in today. So that's good. Now it is a big money match. It's 50 quid to entry. And uh, I think it's 500 quid for the winner and 100 pound for each section. And, and also you qualify as well. So, um, you know, so there are. It's, it's uh, worth coming to, you know. Um, of course, today clashes with the uh, Fishel Mania final. Uh, I've, I've never fished the commercial, so I, but uh, of course, big money there, 50 grand for the winner. Uh, maybe one day I'll have a go at it, but uh, I like my natural fishing too much, I think. Okay, let's go down my coffee and uh, let's see what the drawing up. We have just wondered how we're going to do it if five of you that have already qualified for both are all in the same section. But we'll worry about that later. <laughs> we're fishing 12 till 5. We must sincerely thank all our sponsors, Manor Angling, Ockbox and Cadence, which is fantastic that they are sponsoring us. When you take your draw and you're fishing and driving off on the left-hand side of the ferry, please, please be very careful. Do not run any of the park run people over. <laughs> they should all be gone by 10, so, uh, it won't, they won't bother you for long. Now, next Sunday, we are having a Super Duper Sunday. It is still £30 a ticket, but there will be Evesham tickets, and the qualifiers will be every five pegs. So if you're still looking for an Evesham ticket, then next Sunday's the day to come. And also on that day, we are going to practice the pairs, just to show you all how it works. We think we know how it works, but we just want to make sure it does. Peg 14. Okay, I've just drawn peg 14. Um, <laughs> just had a look on the, the board and... Um, Although it's up in the town, it's not one of the better pegs at the moment. Um, uh, they didn't weigh off it last. We uh, uh, did not weigh on the board last um, Wednesday, so there you are. Um, give it a go anyway. I know it's uh, some roach in that area, and, and uh, I know the odd barbel. But maybe eels. <laughs> anyway, let's go and have a look. Let's go and tackle up as well. Tune it a bit. Peg 14. Right, I just set my box up. Just going to set my rest of my tackle up. But um, yes, there's uh, a bit of a feature on the left of me. That's probably the next man's swim. So mine is sort of down, you know, swim. Not a real feature. Plenty of lilies on the inside. Maybe some cover for perch or small fish or who knows <laughs> but the problem with this peg is it's right next to a slipway and the slipway yeah right there and this is where all the dogs and all the people come uh, come down so it's a bit of, makes a bit of a disturbance in the water really whether it'll affect the fishing or not I don't know we're only talking about five six seven yards 
and peg 15 which is further down it's not affected so much I remember last time coming to this uh, swim and I had a bit of an argument with a, one of the dog uh, walkers kept throwing sticks in the water and of course you know it's ruined my day's fishing never mind uh, as I say it's not the best draws in the section but oh. right now I've just come from South Wales as I mentioned lots of uh, rain and wind and they reckon it's on its way now and I see the wind picking up now and some spot, uh, spots in the air so I might have to put the umbrella up later which you'll see the rains Today we got like a, it's like Muldoon's picnic here really, always has been at Eusham. Got runners like running up and down. Look, see? There's some sort of festival going on there, don't <laughs> Yeah. And uh, it's not too far to walk from the van anyway. Hey lads, <laughs> right, um, just a big shout out to uh, one of the viewers um, who follows the vlogs. He just come past and there uh, with his young lad and said hello to me. So thanks for stopping and saying hello. Um, he knows a little bit about the river. He knows it's a babel peg, but uh, you know, as I said, the babel haven't actually shown yet on on, uh, on this peg as, as far as I know. Um, and he said he'd been fishing at Fladbury, which is further up on the haven, and he was catching roach yesterday. So, because that was high pressure, today the low pressure's come in, and it might affect the fish. So, we shall see. Um, right, let me carry on and tackle up. <laughs> okay, lads, uh, yeah, I've tackled up now. Um, yeah, I've got about 20 minutes to go, so um, I thought I'd just quickly go through a few things. Uh, <laughs> with so many methods in your head like it's uh, you've got to try and calm down sometimes and think well hang on uh, what's going to win the section or what's going to try and win the match well um, talking to a couple of guys um, uh, especially the one below me he's, he's called Babel nearly on every peg because he's a Babel specialist and uh, that's what he normally does he just fishes for Babel now I'm going to, um, I'm, I remember fishing this peg before and I, I actually had a babel, uh, about five pound, and lost one. And I caught him on the, well I had him on the maggot feeder. Now he set up pellets and all sorts of things, but the trouble is if you do that you're going to eliminate uh, eels, perch, you know, and anything else that might swim. So, um, oh, nice fish to come up then. In the water. Mm. Now I know that there's a high pressure uh, has gone over and it's uh, becoming low pressure so that might affect the fishing a little bit um, but it's still mild uh, well it's a lot milder than it has been because it's been 30 degrees it's now probably about 20 21 ish so uh, you know it's quite mild and quite still nice not the, the water temperatures you know hasn't changed a lot um, it's just the oxygen levels I'm a bit concerned about and because uh, this is not an oxygenated swim, you know, uh, in other words, um, uh, you know, by a weir or anything like that. So, you know, it might be a bit stagnant, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to fish th um, the hemp. I got the he uh, two hemp rigs, one uh, slightly heavy on the bottom, one up in the water. Um, I've also got a uh, the feeder, which uh, I think I'll probably start on. Uh, maybe the middle uh, two-thirds or perhaps this side of the middle if I remember this side of the middle that's where they that's where they were um, so I might start on that I might concentrate on that for a while just get some bait down I'll keep the hemp uh, trickling in now also um, I was thinking of you know an inside swim um, you know with a bit of chop worm so I might try that as well but I think that's, oh, and I got a waglet set up, I say I'm talking about too many things, but I've also got a waglet because I might pick up a couple of little chublets, you know, in between what I'm doing. So, um, I'm going to try and keep it simple if I can today. Um, shit or bust, as, as, as they say. Um, you know, it's a point of scratching around, really, because, uh, you know, it's um, a very highly competitive match, and there's a lot of more money to be won today. Um, I got Lee Gardner in my... Uh, section who's a, obviously one of the local lads who does very well he won last Wednesday he got a bream on the waggler would you believe <laughs> you know under the one chance of that uh, happening but um, and he was on peg 20 and that is the peg that uh, is the form peg the end peg in this section um, so anyway 
Uh, got to be positive now and let's see what happens. Uh, I'll try and do some videoing, try and tell you what I'm doing as I'm going along. As I say, the wind is picking up slightly and if it rains then the umbrella will be coming up because <laughs> I don't want to get drenched, especially with a match tomorrow, you know. Um, so there you go then. So, uh, yeah, I uh, don't think you want, need to see my rigs because they're pretty straightforward, you know. Um, <clears throat> I've got a boat rig on the feeder, you know, with a loop method that I use quite often. The hemp, uh, I've got um, number 10s and um, uh, 12s going down. Um, and then on the other rig I've got, um, uh, well, mainly 11s, 11s and 12s. That's a very light rig. The Waggler, um, I got a two swan, two swan. I've got it. I've cast over it. I've set it at about uh, five, six foot. And I think it's just dragging bottom then over there. Now I tell you what I do like about this peg is that it's not exceptionally deep. It's probably only about nine, ten foot, which could be ideal for the hemp. So if the hemp go, then um, obviously you know it's a nice step to catch them. I know there's a couple of pipe uh, around these pegs, so that's going to be a, a major problem if I do get the roach going. But um, we shall see, you know, we shall see. Uh, I've had a few dogs come down into the um, slipway. Uh, they haven't caused too much problem. They haven't gone on swimming in the middle of the river. They're just, just paddling about. So as long as they do that, they don't mind. Um, but as I say, it's a bit of an attractive for all the local walkers, dog walkers. They come straight to this bit, you know, which is a shame. Anyway, that way. Um, so there's some good uh, anglers in the field, um, all the pegs are in, and again what they've done, they put the best pegs into one section, so that would be peg 1, peg 2, uh, I think uh, 35, 36 and 52, those are the, you know, the pegs that always produce, so uh, um, I remember last match uh, they had this, uh, I think the, out of the there were four out of the five main places, those pegs, so, you know, um, obviously they know the water and they know it pretty well. Uh, this is a, a mediocre peg, as I said, it, um, uh, they didn't weigh in off it last match, um, so I'm hoping to improve on that at least anyway, you know, a weigh in even if it's, even if it's ounces really, just to show the, you know, show my uh, followers on the vlog. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching again. As I said, um, it's nice to get some comments. You know, I, you know, at least I know people are reacting. That's the main thing. And uh, even if it's a bad comment, I don't care. I always get one or two give me a thumbs down. I don't know why. <laughs> it is hard sometimes concentrate. You know, uh, when you're fishing a match, you know, when you know there's money on it, and uh, and you're filming yourself. So that's why you know. You'll have to excuse me if I sometimes don't talk and I'm just concentrating. Um, I do try and speed up some of the filming, you know, if it seems a bit boring sometimes. Um, but uh, as I say, I try and film as much as I can, try and give as much information. If I catch, I catch. If I don't, I don't. Hey, you know, as long as you enjoy yourself, that's amazing. That's what match fishing is all about, isn't it? Well, we're all type of fishing, really. But, um, okay. Okay, uh, see you in a bit when the match starts.
Hello? making sure this one is not falling off.
Yeah, this, is what, this is what I got to put up with. Look, people in a garden opposite, messing around in a river. What the flick's he doing there? Hope he falls in, the old bugger. I was going to go across there with a waggler as well. Go on, please, please fall in. Please, please. No. It's too weird of that. <laughs> she lucky though. <laughs> And little knocks on the tip. I've just had an eel. Um, just had a little knock then, just a little pull. But uh, every time I strike on it, I don't hit anything. So I just let it develop if I can. It could be eels just playing around with it, or fish knocking the line. But, um, I haven't heard of any barbel caught. Uh, in fact, um, a few people who walked the bank said this hadn't been fishing well, so um, I guess that with a low pressure, uh, there's lack of oxygen in the water, so um does need a, a downpour or something to freshen the water up, I think. Just look twitch it. Okay, the match is over. It's going to weigh in now. I'm peg 14. They make it quick. Uh, they weigh in quite quickly actually. So, <laughs> nice. That's how I caught him now. We're traveling. Three four was it? Yeah. Hey? Oh, what are you? Uh, one was a ten dog. Oh, bloody hell. It's a bugger. Oh, oh my. See what he's got down here. What did he have above you? Oh. Can you look at Somebody's been feeding it up with boilers and pellets. Oh, you haven't been eating that boy. Two, six, eight. Don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Alright, thanks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> two thirteen eight. Uh, Lee, that'd be three. Uh, but you have three pound three. So you tell me about five ounces and I think that perch I had that I dropped off, which was in my hand and I showed the camera it fell off. <laughs> That's cost me the section. But uh, one good thing about it is that Lee's already qualified, so I will I should get a qualifier uh, ticket now for the final. Uh, it's any choice, so I can pick uh, the Saturday, which is the Witch Haven, or Sunday, which is the um, uh, the uh, the Evesham Open used to be the old John Smiths, so that's one consolation. <laughs> yeah, the next uh, there's a two six, a two seven, I think, and that. So yeah, so second the section. Not, I won't pick up any money, but uh, I get a, an invite. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. I got a River Fest tomorrow down on the the Bristol Even, and uh, 
I've been there, uh, I've just missed out three times on there now, so you know, four time lucky. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll put the results on the, up after with the board. Okay.